has all the tools. I, I was I was thinking Palutena, this is a weird thing. I just get this vibe that Palutena feels kind of like melee sheep. I was going to ask you, you know, you guys have Prince Ramen in your region. Like, how's that going so far? Oh, now we all, Palutena we love is Palutena. Like, he, Prince Ramen, the, the one that you guys have worshipped the ground he walks. <laughs> I, I also forgot the Frozen also has a Peach. This yes. Peach is nutty. Peach in this game, um, I, I can confidently say top five. I played Santa Sora for like 12 hours, and I've been saying it since like day one. Like, this character is absolutely ridiculous, especially with the new mechanics in the game, granting her the leverage that I feel like would benefit her the most out of anybody else in the cast. On the other side, though, a character I think is top five, I actually think is top one, is Pichu. Really? Yes. You know, I, oh, I think yes. this character is incredible as well, but it wasn't until recently, after watching um, that recent tournament that yeah. we competed at um, in NorCal, like, he, he had just done such an insane, he, insane run with Pichu that I'm just like, all right, this character has literally the same combo game as Sheik. Like, the character reminds me of Sheik, essentially, and I feel like this character just fits Void's playstyle amazingly. Perfectly, perfectly. And because you have a lot of safe neutral tools, and a lot of them will actually uh, link into kill confirms or combos. Mm -hmm. Trying you to see, you try to actually go yep. for the forward tilt right forward there. Tilt. You know, hits forward tilt. Yeah, hits into the ledge and is a kill move. Yeah. Uh, little little smash knowledge. I want to talk about frames for a second. Uh, that move is active between frames seven and twelve, right? And so if you're trying to catch a two frame, you want to throw a, a, a lingering hitbox like that. The reason you want, don't want to do down smash and forward smash is because there's actually in between frames in which there is no hitbox there. Yeah, so might as well just go for the move that lingers for as long as it does, yes. um, especially, you know, forward tilt right there. And I just want to know, um, before Frozen got here uh, in Winners, he actually had t Goblin had taken him to game three in a Goblin very did, yes, you said. yes Ooh. in a very close game. So these guys are in the same same pool. Yeah. Off stage there, and you can mix up your opponent there. So if they jump up, you can catch them with down beat. If they don't jump, you jump and you get them with a the back air, You'll, and that will kill super early because of scaling. Yeah, back air in this game is kind of crazy. Going for the down smash, I'm not too sure if that was optimal right there, but the drag down up air into down, down, honestly. Down tilt in this game for Peach is actually kind of crazy just because you know you can't tech grounded can't opponents. Tech things, yes. And down tilt is perfect to hit you, especially if you're grounded. In it's the game. so much faster than I think it's faster than before. It looks faster than it before. Doesn't, it just doesn't look like it has the same range that we were used to from the last game. She doesn't use her hands this time, she uses her feet instead. Look, he was trying to catch the double jump there, the down beat. Frozen, unfortunately, just struggling on trying, I was about to say, struggling on getting the stock, but managing to fall with the fair and actually closing out his very first stock. But although Frozen's on his very own last stock so far for this first game. Yeah, oh, look at these follow-ups. This is where Peach really shines. Okay, find that down tilt. Uh, that that can confirm, but you saw uh, Frozen actually DIing away. Yeah, and that forward smash actually reaching way further than it seems at the same time just because you see it looks like the bolt of lightning kind of disappears a little bit since it sparks up and it actually hits you from way further than you would actually anticipate yeah, yeah oh man that move is powerful powerful uh big thing too is like some people some people say you know it's such a small smash attack but you also remember how small pichu is right so that being so small is isn't really uh, it doesn't hurt pichu that much you know yeah. You still have to punish Pichu, so you have to space correctly. You know, you don't want to whiff. And thinking about that, you know, Frozen playing Peach, that at the same time shouldn't be a problem because of how low to the ground Peach could do Nair and how fast she could do it, as well as uh, the backers that we've been seeing Peach do with jump yeah. cancel, fastball backers. I'm looking like Fox backers out here, honestly, with how fast she can throw them out in this game. So here we go. Uh, one thing in this matchup you might want to do as Peach is you want to do a lot of the float cancels and kind of linger back because Pichu will come in with a lot of nares, a lot of raw up airs, and sometimes you can just kind of punish that with the whiff options. Unfortunately, those moves have really low FAF, so, you know, it, it, it can be difficult to, to punish Pichu sometimes. Looking for an early kill there with a the jump up beat. I'm down beat, excuse me. Was not able to find the thunder, though. I like how Frozen's throwing out these hitboxes on purpose around the platform, just in case Void was going to try to approach um, from above the platform rather than below it. Little information there. Frozen recovering low. Does it again. See if there's a punish next time around. Little juggle beat you a little bit. Again, going low. Waited that time. Yep, and that tilt coming out. We were talking about it earlier, reaching from underneath the ledge, but I do believe Frozen had actually gotten off the ledge when he got hit there. Here we go. No follow-up, though. The DI. That time we'll get him. And you 
see Frozen's looking for La Fair. A lot more prominent in this game now that you can see her actually take out the crown a little <laughs> yeah. bit more dramatically. Oh my goodness. Back air shield really fast. Uh, back air comes out frame five, I believe. And then uh, you only have three frames of uh, jump squat, so a lot of your aerials are actually your fastest options when landing. Looking, I like yeah. using the float right there to purposely stall how he was going to recover to the ground, but unfortunately missing that down smash. He threw it out as an active hitbox because he felt like uh, Void was going to get up, uh, probably using a neutral get up, but unfortunately just Void was able to use the invincibility from the ledge to be able to get back safely and getting another forward tilt right by the ledge there to catch Frozen once again. So one thing that people kind of wonder is like, how, how has Peach lived to this percent, you know? The big thing is if you're playing safely, uh, the moves you do get hit by by your opponent are usually going to be stray hits. And so because of that, you're able to kind of hold on to these stocks really long as Pichu is long. You have to play safe, though. And yeah, then once that happens, you have this rage. he's aggressive or, like, very fast, aggressive character. Yeah. So, like, even getting, like, all, honestly, all Frozen needs right now is a Nair. All he needs is a Nair right now. And it would close out Pichu's stock, but it's just so hard to find an opening. Yes. Void completely contesting him, even off stage. He sees a Frozen opted to go for a float to possibly maybe try to mix up his landing on yeah. the stage, maybe go for the platform instead, high recovery, um, but then maybe try to drop down and go for a recovery from below the ledge, but Void not giving him that opportunity as he chases him off stage with the back air. Mm -hmm. 